Okay, today I'm working on a uh, on a new Bluetooth boombox. This is a suitcase boombox. I'll show it to you here. And um, one of the problems I have when I'm fitting different amplifiers to uh, these boombox these boomboxes is that uh, when I use either um, the, a signal coming from a cell phone line signal coming from the cell phone or the or the signal coming out of a Bluetooth receiver, um, oftentimes the signal it, the signal will saturate the amplifier, and um, so when you have the uh, the volume knob turned all the way up, um, you get a whole bunch of distortion coming out of your boombox. So what I want to do is I want to limit um, the um, the volume coming into the amplifier. Um, by modifying this potentiometer. And the way that I do that is that I place a resistor in series um, with potentiometer and uh, that will limit the, um, the signal coming into the amplifier. Alright, um, so in this particular case I'm using a TDA 2005 um, mono bridged amplifier. Um, so the signals coming out of my out of my iPhone. It's going into a uh, Bluetooth receiver uh, which then uh, the signal is then um, turned into a mono signal here with this resistor array. The signal then goes through our volume potentiometer and then into the amplifier. Um, so I'm going to show you here that uh, at, um, at full volume um, the signal coming into this amplifier is overdriving, or the signal coming in is overdriving the amplifier. Uh, one thing I've done to this potentiometer is I've put a jumper on the input leg uh, which will allow me to put different values, different potentiometer values in series and we can see what the effect of that has and that and uh, then we can tune our potentiometer here to give us a proper input um, signal at full volume. Now one thing I want to say, um, I'm doing this on, uh, on, a, um, on a Bluetooth signal. Now in general, Bluetooth signals are lower voltages than uh, signals coming out of the headphone. Um, so, when we, so when we're doing this for the Bluetooth, um, I mean, this, this is going to be used mainly as a Bluetooth um, speaker, so I want to tune this to the Bluetooth rather than to the line level coming out of the, uh, out of the iPhone. All right, um, so we're all set up here. Um, <clears throat> so in our standard configuration, our first configuration, we're going to have the volume all the way up on the volume potentiometer. I'm also going to have the volume all the way up on the... Uh, on the iPhone. Um, we're going to be monitoring the output or the, uh, the level at the um, at the speaker uh, with this oscilloscope. Uh, I'm also going to have uh, in this in the, in the shot here the uh, lab power supply which which um, will give us some idea of the current that we're drawing for this. Uh, this amplifier will draw up to two amps um, the quiescent current on this is about uh, 100 milliamps and we're sitting just about there right now. Um, so let me get this set up and, uh, and we'll get back. Okay, we're back. We've got this set up now that um, we're looking at the oscilloscope and the, uh, and the uh, power supply. Um, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to put a pure tone into um, into this amplifier, I've got a uh, a, uh, a signal generator here, and um, we're going to start off with uh, with 40 hertz. All right, so here we go. Um, pay attention to the um, to the signal that we're getting here on the oscilloscope. You'll see as I turn the volume up that it's going to start to square off. Uh, also, look at uh, the currents that that we're drawing. Um, for this signal. So here we go. All 
right, you see we're drawing about an amp of current. Um, you can see that the signal is, is horribly distorted. Now I'm going to turn down the volume until this signal just is um, just below distortion. And that's about uh, minus 10 dB on our uh, signal generator. And you see we're, we've got about half of the current that we're drawing. Um, so the line level is providing heavily distorted signal into the uh, or out of the amplifier. Um, so let's see what this sounds like on a uh, on a little bit of uh, higher frequency, and you can get a better idea of what the distortion sounds like coming out of the uh, out of the speakers. So here is a uh, 400 hertz signal, and here we go. There's the undistorted signal. distorted signal at about uh, minus 10 dB. And just for fun, let's look at a 2000 Hertz signal. You can hear the distortion coming in. This is at line level. It's about minus 10 dB. Okay, so what I want to know next is what is the, um, the output voltage um, going to the speakers um, that, that this amplifier is putting out just before distortion. So let me go back down to a uh, 400 hertz signal. And um, on the oscilloscope, I have the scale set at, uh, at 2 volts per division. And so we'll look at the peak-to-peak -peak voltage of the signal and see where the distortion just starts. Okay, you can see we have about an 8-volt output signal. This is at minus 10 dB, and you can see we're just starting to square off the, the wave here. So the maximum output signal that we want is going to be about 8 volts peak to peak. All right. So let me set things up where we start to put um, where we start to put uh, um, resistors in series with the uh, with the volume potentiometer and uh, see where where we can get to. Okay, we're set up now. We're going to start with a um, a 22k resistor and I'm just going to hook this up here we're going to get a bunch of noise here because this is acting like a big antenna I've got really long wires for this demonstration all right let's see um, let's see what we can do again the the um, volume potentiometer is all the way up uh, the volume on the iPhone is all the way up. And let's go ahead and, and uh, set up the scope and have a look to see uh, what a 22K um, resistor does. All right, back. We're back. And let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm going to turn this up to line level. I can see it at line level now we are, the signal is not distorted. Um, however though we're looking at about a 2-4, about a 2-4, about a 5 volt signal coming out. So um, we definitely have a little bit too much resistance on this. Um, so I'm going to 
So let's try a different level. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and switch this and put a uh, 10K resistor in line here. Okay, now we're set up. Again, I've got a uh, 10K resistor in series with the volume potentiometer, and let's see what this does. I could say at line, line level, we're just starting to square off. down a little bit so we're at about 2 dB down before the uh, signal becomes clean again and I think that's an acceptable level um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do for this amplifier is I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, 10k resistor um, in series with the volume potentiometer again the uh, volume potentiometer is a 10k Okay, so for this application, it looks like um, a resistor value of 10K is probably going to be our best bet. Um, so I'll go ahead and, so what I'm going to do for this amplifier is put uh, the 10K resistor in series with the volume potentiometer, which is also 10K. And uh, this will give us a, a signal coming out to our, a, um, our output signal. That, is, that at full volume is just a little bit distorted. Again, uh, it's about uh, 2 dB down before the signal becomes clean again. So let's see what this means um, with a music signal. I've got uh, some royalty-free bass drop uh, tracks from YouTube that I'm going to start with here. And um, So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the um, at the signal coming at, we're, we're going to listen to what the signal sounds like without any resistor in series, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the volume of the um, of my iPhone all the way up and the volume of the, or the input volume potentiometer all the way down. And let's see what this sounds like. Let's see what the same track sounds like um, with the 10K resistor in series. Again, we're going to start with the uh, with the volume all the way down. Again, full volume with the 10K, getting a little bit of distortion. One click on the volume control of the uh, iPhone, and you can see most of the distortion is gone, and the uh, that sounds pretty good. All right, there you have it. That's how I deal with uh, the problem of having line level signals overdriving uh, my amplifiers in my uh, boombox projects. I uh, hope you found this um, interesting and informative, and uh, I'll talk to you all later. Thanks, bye.